Welcome back to the channel once again. Um, John's back, so welcome him back. We're um, actually at another new location this week. It was offered to me by the same guy that offered me the farmhouse, James. Thank you for this one. Um, this is known as the Mould House. Um, obviously, we know why it's called the Mould House, because it does stink, in actual fact. It is quite mouldy. But it appears that there was an old couple that passed here. But certainly, all of their furniture is still left here. Everything here has been left. So, obviously, they passed away. We've seen some sympathy cards on the side. So, we know someone passed here. So, let's hope we can pick something up this evening. Hope you enjoyed this explore. Please leave a like and leave a comment as usual. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, let's give you a quick tour of the location. Um, as I said before, it's a mouldy old place. It looks like it's been empty for the past two years. There's sympathy cards on the side there. So we know someone passed here. And obviously whoever the second person was, the husband or the wife, she clearly passed also um, purely for the fact that the whole place is everything's been left as you can see as we walk around even the little tables here little dining table scrabble board two cups and someone's obviously moved the scrabble to say explore there hope you can see that but let's just walk you around the location then i'll get the spirit box going and we'll do a bit of calling out the good thing with john back this week is we can do the estes session once more but a lovely little cottage it's actually buried right out of the way. There's a long driveway to get up here, as you will see in the opening. Um, but it's quite amazing to walk into that just everything's been left. You don't often see these locations like this. But even the little rear entrance way there, little chair there, obviously that was a phone table. Amazing little place, John, isn't it? Yeah. Arrest? No, we don't want to be arrested. I mean, it's not going to be a cheap place, this, especially the location that we're in. It's, it's quite an expensive property, although not as big as some properties, but it is mainly the location. But obviously, I'm sure that this is going to affect me and John tonight with all the mould. Even looks like the old lady's shoes are still there. And then there's a the gentleman's slippers here, it looks like, Lovely. with tape around them. All of his jackets still hanging up, his wellies. Amazing, John, isn't it? Yeah. It's just as though they've just disappeared and just left everything. That door seems locked. Yeah, the back door's locked, we can't get out of there. But lucky enough, the patio door was open. But yeah, beautiful old place. Although, obviously, it's all turning to mould now, which is a bit of a shame because someone could really do some good with this place. You want there, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously this is the sitting room. A big old gas fire there. And four chairs. It's like a little care home in reality. It's not, clearly. But four separate chairs for the old yeah, couple to sit in. Run all the way along there, I guess. Yeah. All the old, are they called crittle wood or something? All the old metal windows. That's conservatory out there, John, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Is it locked? Yeah. That back, that back patio door is open in the garden. So obviously they've locked that one to stop people coming in. Okay, let's take you through to the rear. These are where the second bathroom is and the bedrooms. I can feel the mould in my throat, John. Mm. Yeah, Mrs. Smith. Obviously, look, it's still stuck in the wardrobes. Lovely Thomas. Lovely Thomas. Yeah. So Thomas was the gentleman that passed here. So his wife obviously survived him. Look, even the old shoes at the end of the bed. Maybe they both slept in separate beds towards the end. Her little hat there, look. 
Mm. All of our little makeup stuff still on the side. It's quite sad, really, John, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite sad. And little, she's obviously knitted them, whatever they are. Yeah, little crochet. Bless her heart. A little shame, isn't it? How people can go. Obviously, they never had any children or anything, yeah. but how do these places just end up abandoned? I mean, the bathrooms take taken most of the devastation. Look at that. It's just filled with mould. God, like that ladder comes down. I just put that ladder up because I walked in and someone There's had been more up there. Of us. What was that? There's more of us. Yeah. Can you all come forward? They have toilets and bathrooms anyway, Another little, yeah, they've got three bathrooms. Another and a little, shower. And a shower. There's power on here. Is there? Yeah, the shower lights on. Where's that? Oh, yeah. So there is power in the property. What's that? It's a funny old mill, or is it just a... Could have been a window. Weird. But certainly a nice sized property, John, isn't it? It's a real shame. Look at all that moles, look, all to the rear of the property. The ceiling, uh, the roof's leaking, look. Yeah. That's where it's come from. What a shame. But it's only been empty a couple of years. Okay, let's uh, move out here and I'll get the, the box going and we'll see if we can communicate with anything. As I said, we will be doing an SDS session, so that'll help us out this evening. Face for the cobwebs. Face for the cobwebs? Yeah. That's never a good thing. Okay, let's put this down. I'll set things up, so bear with me. <laughs> oh, I'm here to protect you. Who's here with me, please? Who's Can protecting me? Can you say a name? Could you give me the name of the spirit that's protecting me, please? Please keep communicating. Not too much out here, John. Let me grab my torch. Come on, spirit, keep talking to me, please. Can I ask, is this the last thing you were, you did? Played Scrabble together? I can see that your tea was there. It's amazing really to think there was someone living here a few years ago. And they've both now passed. And this probably was their favourite little place to sit. Certainly the views outside are quite nice. Erase it. What do you want to raise? Let me put the phone down there. Okay, Spirit. Come and show me that you're here, please. Come and sit in one of these chairs. Get out of here. Did it? So it wants us to go, John, does it? Yeah, I don't think so, Spirit. I'm going to come and sit in this chair. And we're going to try and play Scrabble together. Sure. Thank you. Come and sit with me. Whatever spirit still resides in this location, whether it's the husband or the wife, three spirits. Oh, there is three spirits here, is there? Who else do we have? We clearly have the husband and wife. Who's the third spirit, please? It's obvious that you never had any children. I wouldn't imagine so, because this property wouldn't have been left abandoned like this. So please, come and give me your names. I know the husband's name was Tom. What was the lady's name that lived here, please? Rafe. Rafe. You just had Rafe come through. Yeah. Come on, spirit, come and talk to me. What about if I come and sit on your bed? Let's do that. In front of me. 
bear with me a minute i'm just gonna move the equipment and i need to check that static camera because it switched itself off all oh, the emf meters go in there john i hope you can see that i hope i never caused any disrespect by sitting in your chair right so bear with me sorry about that i've just had come through while i was moving the equipment something bad's going to happen here and casket a bit of a strange sentence can i ask please who the <laughs> alice i was just about to ask who the lovely lady is alice so was there an alice and a tom that resided here is that the husband and wife manipulate what are you going to manipulate spirit please drink yes we have lights yes we do have power here there isn't a drink here spirit to manipulate I hope you're both at rest, but I'd certainly love to communicate with you and understand a little bit more about you, although I do hope that you're resting in peace, as I said. I'm just really here to see if you're still here with us. We are the first paranormal team to actually do an investigation in this location. There's certainly been a couple of teams that have just explored the location and spent a little time here, but no one's actually done a... A full session here with equipment so that's the reason we're here follow me come on him you can follow me you can follow me no we won't be we won't be no we won't be doing no seances and we won't be doing any conjuring We're only here to communicate. Please, Alice, are you with me? <laughs> Visual. Yes, I'd love to see you, Alice. I'd love to see you come and sit on the edge of this bed with me, maybe. Or show yourself in this bed. I'm not sure which one you had. Whether this was Tom's. But I'm more than happy for you to show yourself to me. You're not going to frighten me. What do you mean by stop? What do you want us to stop? Did they say they want us to stop, John? Yeah. Obviously they don't like the thought of being um, disturbed. We mean no harm, spirits. You are family. Okay. Hell? Why did you say hell, spirit? She is here. Oh, thank you. Did you hear that? She is here. Is it Alice that's here? <coughs> Sorry about my voice. It is this mould. It's affecting my throat. Bathroom. You want me to go in the bathroom? What'd that say? Bathroom? Standing yeah. inside. Standing, Standing inside. inside. Yeah. I've just had she is here, John. That's, that's the shower room. I had uh, seance and conjuring earlier. Did you? Yeah. Human. Well, right, so you're standing inside the bathroom, are you? We're human. The lights are working because I just turned one on in the bedroom. Right. So where are you then? Yeah. Kathleen. So where are you then if you're standing here in the bathroom? Because we're in the bathroom. You're in the shower. <coughs> John, pull that, pull that cord. That's for the, uh, that's not working. No, mine said at the end in 1940. No? No. What about that little light there on the shower head? I mean, on the shaver point? No. No. I'll think so. What about this one? 
I think spirit. just certain ones. Yours just said spirits, didn't it? Spiritus. Spiritus. I've had that before, Spiritus. Look at the mould in here, John. This is this is the bad room. This is where most of the smells emanating from. Not likely. Yeah, this end of the house isn't good. Although the master bedroom's reasonably oh. okay. <laughs> Do you just hit your head? Oh God. Haunted house was that? Yeah, I've had I've had uh, haunted house now, and I've also had haunt house. Oh well. So we do have a haunting here, Spirit, do we? Yeah. Well, it, it said we have a haunting here. Well, when you said that, my spirit box said yeah. Did it? So we do have a haunting in here. Maybe you could move them blinds here. Maybe you could rattle them. <laughs> arm? Oh, yes, please. I'd love to see an arm. I just can't believe there's a little little pair of shoes there. Look at that. And obviously a little seat, maybe where they put them on to go into the garden. I mean, even the drawers have bits in. There's no personal photos. They've gone, so we don't know what this couple look like. But you can certainly tell, look at that, even the old brass. It's unbelievable, really. And they pass away, and every, everything about them is here. Their life is here. Obviously, I'm not going to open these fridges. I don't. But look at that old sink, look. That goes back to the 70s. Little bathroom mirror. I have no idea. Z O R O A S T. R I A N. I'll Google that and I'll put it on the top of the screen now. <laughs> moved location. Where have you moved to, Spirit? Please don't move location. Stay here with me. Look at that. That's a 1970s Mac there. I mean, they must have spent nearly all their lives here, or their married lives. Little pen knife. Fascinating place. One. What do you mean by one spirit? Yeah, it's just, they've just gone. Surveillance. We're not here for surveillance. We're here to communicate with you. Okay. I think what we'll do, we'll stop now for a little break and then we'll look at doing the Estes session. I think John's going to do it in here at the table. Five spirits. Five spirits. So I've had ten, three. Hopefully one of the static cameras will pick something up. I've had blackmail. Have you? Walk forward. I've had one strange word I have no idea but I'm going to Google it. And then it said moves location. What do we have there, John? Is that the only picture in this property? Oh, look at that. <coughs> Agree and Kelly. Is like that, no? What does that say? What's the... Collier's School, Horsham. May 1934, John. Yeah. So this gentleman is here somewhere. This Tom, isn't he? Must be him. Look at that. Well old. 1934. I mean, look at them little dollies. Obviously the old ladies. Can you make the dolls move? I mean, that fire amazes me, John. Injury? Yeah, that, that time he had a... Uh, she has left. That time he had a hospital appointment on the 16th of December 19, uh, 2021. Did he? And he never made that hospital appointment? He might not have done that. I think this has been empty for at least, it's got to be a year and a half, two years, isn't it? Yeah. With the state of this mould on the floor. <laughs> Jeremy.
Okay, Spirit, can I ask, please? See the kettle going off then? I think what I might do is move this lamp just to get it out of the way. Okay, whoever's here currently, whoever resides here, please come forward and speak with me if you would. Come and tell me who's here with me. Come and speak through the gentleman that's sitting in the chair there. Thomas, we know that you lived here and that you passed. Could don't you confirm your wife's name, please? Could you tell us that at least? Come and talk to me. Obviously, I hope you can see along there. I put the... I'm not sure what that is. It's a laser grid. That's what it is. I put that there facing the bedroom. So. <laughs> Abstractedly. So hopefully the little static camera there can pick something up or some movement. I'll put a secondary static camera here, which is facing these blinds in the utility room, because you never do know, they may move for us. We always live in hope. Please, Spirit, don't keep me waiting. Come and talk to me. Come and speak through John, please. Whatever you can do, I'll be most grateful. I don't want much from you, I just need, your name would help in the first instance, and then maybe you can let me know how you and Thomas passed. Let me just back into the kitchen a bit. So we've got one ghost detected, thank you spirit. Can I tell you where, can you tell me where the spirit is please, where it's been detected? I have three cameras going currently. I'm waiting for you to speak through John. He's sitting there waiting. He's waiting patiently. <laughs> In the room. What room, spirit? <laughs> Point. <laughs> Where the two paths cross. It's a bit of a strange thing to say. I'm just walking through just for a minute. Because obviously John's not speaking yet. <laughs> Dead bodies. Oh, it's lovely. Where's the dead body spirit, please? Let me just grab this little light off this static camera. Okay, just so we can see something. Megan, that just said. Spirit, please do your best to come and sit in one of these chairs. Clearly, the lady that lived here and Thomas, these were your chairs. I would imagine it's the two in front of the fire there. I'd imagine that's where you actually resided. Thomas, can you... Maybe, let me put the cat ball on the other chair. And then maybe what you can do is actually move the cat ball. And you can tell me what chair you had. These cat balls are very temperamental. They work sometimes and other times they just give up. <coughs> okay. I'll wait for that to stop flashing. So, can you tell me what chair that Thomas had, please? 
What chair did Thomas sit in? Come and show me. There's two little devices on the chairs. If you touch them, they'll light up and it's a way that I can communicate with you. So Thomas, light the ball up, the chair that you sat on please. Absolutely silent at the moment. I hope something's been picked up. You should be scared, that just said. I have no reason to be scared. Ghost box, that's what I'm... Or that's what you're communicating through now, is the ghost box. If you give me something, if you talk to me, I can listen to what you're saying, I can communicate with you. We can speak with each other. I'm not sure if you can see in this light, but the gentleman's old sunglasses are there. Nothing of John whatsoever yet, absolutely silent. <coughs> so I can only assume that we have nothing here that wants to communicate with us. I don't remember. What don't you remember, Spirit? What don't you remember, please? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. So you don't remember and you don't know. That doesn't really help me out, does it? Oh, dear. <laughs> It just said, we don't want to speak, and then it said, Cockneys. I beg your pardon, Spirit, we're not Cockneys. Well, I'm not. Do I sound like a Cockney to you? I'm not from London, Spirit, I'm from Kent. A much better class, I feel. <laughs> Cockneys. So you don't want to speak because you think... <laughs> I live nearby and killed me. What do you mean you live nearby, spirit? Did you live in the house up the road? And who killed you? Answer phone. Answer phone? My phone's not ringing, spirit. And I am answering the phone. You're talking to me and I'm replying. And it just said I lost it. So there was a killer, and he lost it. <laughs> 11 o'clock. Oh no, we're way past 11 o'clock, spirit. <laughs> Music box. <laughs> Drowning. Did you hear that? The music box is down there. I hope something come up that passageway and... <laughs> Woman. Thank you. So a woman come up the passageway, did she? Weirdo. Weirdo. <laughs> you have a secret, do you? What's that secret, spirit? Please, what's the secret? <laughs> I'm here. Thank you. I thought you was here. The music box just went off. You mentioned that you were killed, and apparently the killer lost it, and then it said drowning. Drops. What did that just say? <laughs> Subversive. <laughs> Most likely. We're getting a lot of communication now. <laughs> bathroom, again. Is there something in the bathroom, Spirit? You've asked us to go to the bathroom twice this evening. Is that where that <laughs> choked? Were you choked in the bathroom? Let me let me grab the light, and I'm going to go down to the bathroom.
What bathroom was you in, Spirit? Was you in this one? Or was you in this main one through here? It's very lonely here, is it? Ooh, what was that? I heard that. It was like a growling. Spirit? I can't hide. I don't want to hide. What happened here, please? Yeah. Why did it say choked? <laughs> lamp? There is a lamp here, Spirit. It's a bit odd. As soon as that music box went off, there was communications coming. <laughs> he haunts. So Thomas is here haunting, is he? Is it Thomas that I need to speak with? Come and show yourself behind me, please. I've got the bathroom behind me. That appears to be where all the activity takes place. Could you maybe show yourself in that doorway? Let me just drop the light here. Face it towards the bathroom, maybe. Go. I think John just said go. Spirit, can you move that door? Can you close that door, please? Or show yourself? Well, I'd love to see something behind that door. Spirit. Stop. John's talking away and I can't hear him because obviously it's, it's drawn me to the bathroom. Okay, let's get back. Yeah, I don't think this property was here in the 1800s, Spirit. Looking at it, I think it was built around 1930, 1940, maybe. Sorry about that. I left John on his own, and I have no idea what he was saying. Maybe you could come forward again and speak with me. Break. We've had a break, Spirit, thank you. Come and speak with me. I think I'll shut that static camera down now. Nineteen. We had nineteen a lot this evening. Oh, my torch is running out as well. We'll turn that off for a minute. Oh, and the camera's just... <laughs> they are coming. Who's coming, Spirit, please? Who's coming? Oh, I don't have that static camera. <laughs> Scent. Now, all I can smell, Spirit, is mould. There is no other scent here. Seven spirits now, apparently. Good energy. I thought so. You're here. John just said I'm here. Thank you. Buried. Buried? You all stay. Task. What, well, I have a task to do, do I? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. What task is that, Spirit? Please. What task did you want me to do? Let me have a steady camera. Just gone flat. Come on, Spirit, show yourself. I think John just said sad. <laughs> ectoplasm. Oh, lovely. We love a bit of ectoplasm in the morning. 
One o'clock. One o'clock? Just a little after one actually, Spirit, but you're close. Right. Right. Come and show yourself in that doorway, please. Come and show me that you're here. <laughs> old souls. Get in. Well, there were two old people that passed here. So they are old souls, I guess. In, in <laughs> Apocalypse. God, I hope not. It feels like it some days. <laughs> You're so close. Am I really? Where are you then? If I'm close. <laughs> Flood. Behind. Behind. Please come and sit in one of these chairs for me, spirit. Come and show me that you're here with me, please. Door. Door? <coughs> I am family, that just said. There's the light, the lamps. They're lovely, some of these lamps. And they're just sitting here, rotting away. <coughs> Blindly. Okay, I think we. Not sure what you just said then. I meant to be listening to John, but I keep being drawn away by other things, distracted. More of them. More of them. <laughs> Four o'clock. Okay, I think we'll look at. Leaving that Esther session. We've done 20 minutes at it. I don't think John's picked too much up. I think I've had more on the spirit box than he's had in communications. So let's wrap things up there. I'll be back with you shortly. Darkness. Darkness, thank you. I don't know. Hold it there, John. Hold it there, mate. <laughs> okay, so thank you for joining myself and John this week. Hope you've enjoyed that short explore of the mould house. Um, I think we've reached a point where we need to go because it's affecting us both the mould. But there is certainly a little bit of activity going on here. Let's hope one of the cameras picks something up. Until next week, you take care of yourselves. God bless. See you later. See you later.